Hi, Rachel. Hi. Hi, Brian. everybody. <laughs> um, so it is right now today focused on Diplomat. So we just launched Diplomat last week. Whole new brand, whole new line. We thought we should really focus on giving you an all overview. These things. Yeah, absolutely. So it's going to be kind of a rapid fire thing because we're trying to keep it to a reasonable time. We won't go super in depth on everything because there's what, like 20 pens to show here. But we will do. We have, we have our four best. lines, four models of pen, mm -hmm. uh, ranging in price from 20 to oh shoot, I should have looked it up. The so around 200 MSRP. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right. I was like, we sell it for like the, the mid to high 100s. There you go. There we go. Uh, first thing I want to <laughs> talk about. Some of them range by color. Yes. The first one I want to talk about is the Arrow, uh, because this is the one that I think the, a lot of people were familiar with, that I was most familiar with before we picked up the brand. The orange one is the standout to me, but there's a lot of other cool colors. The orange has, is, has been the most popular seller so far. Yeah, and that's the one that I personally have as well. So it's made of? It's made of aluminum. Aluminum. It's Solid got, aluminum. It's got some weight. It's got, it's got a little bit of heft to it, but it's not like super heavy, not like a brass or a copper pen. It's not quite that dense, um, but it's definitely a little bit weighty pen. It has a number six Yovo nib, um, similar to Edison or Goulet. Oh yeah. Um, Monograph is switching over too. Um, a lot of people are hopping on over to Yovo these days. Yeah, Yovo is hot. It does it's post. Hotness. You gotta kind of give it a little. Gotta give it a firm push. Yeah. Give it a firm push. Yeah. If you if and you the, just and the cap. Yeah. If you if you if, it, if you're it, dainty with it, it's gonna it's not gonna be great. I mean, I'm dainty, and it's it's well. Yeah. See, I can shake it off. So you gotta right. you gotta give it a little. The push. cap's got a lot of weight to it. You know, any pen that has a really heavy cap, you gotta be careful about how you post it, not fling it around too much. So that's the that's about the only thing to consider. But it's a weighty pen. It's decent length, so you don't have to post it really up to you. So anything else in the arrow you want to talk about? Oh, how about, ooh, yeah, how that satisfying. Capping, that is probably my favorite thing because I'm a fidgeter, so I love to just cap and uncap my pen constantly. And it's got a little bit of noise to it. So if you're in like a super quiet meeting, it could be distracting if you're doing that over and over again. But if you're meeting with more than a couple people, you can get away with and it. And it's not hard to uncap. Like I think of like the Faber-Castell loom, that thing is hard to uncap. That's true. Sometimes when you get a nice firm snap, it's hard to get off. It's, yeah, but this the, is not easy this one. to get off. Very satisfying to get back on. Absolutely, love so, that one. So um, that's yeah, the arrow. we have a couple colors: the orange, black, brown, and they call this one factory. So it has like a raw finish, which I imagine over time will kind of pick up. Oh yeah, you know, its surroundings. Scratch up a little bit and become your own. I think it also looks like a trash can, like straight up Oscar the Grouch Sesame Street trash can. It does. Right. But I don't know. I kind of like that though. I think it's cool. There's no other pen that really looks like that. That or it looks like some kind of like space blimp, I think. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so we'll get some closer shots of that. Um, next one we want to talk about because it's so similar is the Excellence. Similar in that it also uses a number six nib. Yes. Um, also has a nice snap cap. Mm hmm. Easy to get off. Satisfying to put back on. I'm see seeing the comments now already. This is the words that you're using. People are going to pick up on innuendo just as a what? heads up. <laughs> anyway. I wasn't. You went there. I'm calling it. I'm calling you it. You are the one who went there. So we have a, we, the, there's, the excellence is a pretty big line. And it's interesting. There are several versions of the excellence. I keep wanting to look at the wrong camera here. Multi -game. I, I, That's the I one. know, I That's know, but one. it's like that one's right This one's for the me. pens. That one's for the people. I know. This is my first time with the multi-cam. I know, I know. Getting used to it. Um, there are several versions of the Excellence. So there's the Excellence A, the A2, and the A+. We carry the A2. So let me explain the difference. The A is the original. Um, it has the same snap cap that these have, um, but it has an older style clip that doesn't, it, it's not a rocker clip. It's not a spring clip. So yeah. the rocker clip, um, this is what distinguishes the A2 and the A+. Mm -hmm. The A+, which we don't carry, has a screw cap instead of the snap cap. But honestly, we really like the snap. Snap is really nice. We the like the snap. snap. So you get the snap, and you got, well, I have a little tag on there. But and a I will really say, nice rocker clip. Here. I have one of these with the old style clip, the original mm -hmm. one, and I like the rocker clips so much better. It is a serious upgrade. So we were very intentional about picking um, the, have the snap cap with yeah. the rocker clip. Now, will they all eventually switch to the screw cap? I'm not really sure, but for now, know. this is what we have. And, uh, and the thing that I like the most about this pen, especially for, I've got a larger hand, it's a bit of a larger, longer pen. When I post this thing, the weight of the pen is just 
perfect in my hand. It like it just seats so perfectly. It feels very well balanced. Um, it's not you know I've, I have a lot of different pens and I hold a lot of them and usually I can kind of compensate and it, the, the the balance doesn't throw me off too much one way or another. But every now and then I hold a pen and I'm just like whoa this one fits me perfectly. That's kind of what this pen does for me. It's a nice touch. They uh, they're all stainless steel nibs, but matching you know the two tone with the gold trim and the all silver with the silver trim. Um, we again we picked a, a variety here, but you know have a matte finish or shiny finish. Um, blue, of course, yeah. which is the best. So these are uh, again all of these are cartridge converter standard international. Um, so that is included. Yep, and if it's short and long cartridges as well, just in case you are a cartridge fan. And um, so these, again, are priced similarly in the uh, mid to upper 100s, depending on the finish. Yes. So now we're going to move down the line a little bit to the more, you know, affordable ones. Yeah. So which one do you want to do first, the Magnum well, or the about the, Let's talk about the Magnum first. The Magnum while I ink it up. has been very popular, and rightfully so. For $20, you have a solid pen with a Yovo nib. It's a smaller nib. What would you say? Like a number five? It's like a number five size, yeah. I think it's number five. Yeah, it's it'll got... fit. You can swap it out with a num another number five nib. We tried it. Well, there you go. Um, it has a bit of a triangular grip. Um, the nib has a bit of spring to it. And we are including a converter. It normally doesn't come with a converter. That's like an extra five, six dollars. Yeah. Um, we're and including it pen. with both the Magnum and the Traveler. So for twenty dollars, converter, Flexi, not not flexi. I shouldn't say flexi. Springy. Be careful with that word. Springy. Yeah. I corrected myself. Yeah. Springy Yovo nib. It's really a good value. Well, it's called a soft touch finish. So it's it's, it's like a matte, matte finish. It's sort classic. Of. It's 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 matte. So it's it's not textured. It's it's not as textured as like the Lamy this, matte This this one, the gray has a bit more texture a to bit. it. Yeah. It just feels. It almost feels like rubber, but it's not. It's plastic. So yeah. it's very interesting kind of finish. Got a little ink window in here. Yeah. So there's um, four colors. Got and the I, red. This little case it comes in. There's the converter we're throwing in. Red, yeah, black, a little case. blue, and gray. Yeah. And then I want to give you a writing sample. Is that one inked up? Of this pen. I just inked it up. Yeah. Cool. So I got Pilot Arishizuku Kanpeki. Um, so this is um, Diplomat Magnum. This is a fine nib. The nibs are a little wet, but you can see Ain't here wrong with that. a little bit of the line variation. So that's nice. Yeah. Now I wouldn't spring this all day long, you know, because it's not a flex nib. That's not what they're advertising it as. But if you really want to do that in a special circumstance. It's capable. And even though it's a Yobo nib, it's 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 springier, it's more flexible than your typical Yobo number five size nib. Because we carry these in like Edison and some of the other brands and uh, soon to be you like. Yeah, it's a little bit different nib, so that's kinda cool. I forgot to show the pen cases so far. So we talked about the Magnum coming in this little doodad. Um, the arrow and the excellence come in this this really interesting box. So this is like a metal, right? Yeah, it's like a metal casing. And then you slide it out. <laughs> slide it out. And then you'll have your pen in there. So that, that comes with the excellence in the arrow. Mm -hmm. This comes with the Magnum. And this um, is for the Traveler. So let's talk about the Traveler. Let's do that. I'm trying to seg, you know. Ta-da. We're doing okay for how little we planned it this morning. Um, so the Traveler, this is uh, this is the Traveler. It's a thin pen, sort of like a Waterman Hemisphere type of pen. This is the uh, newest Parker finish. Jotter, you know, something along those lines. This is the newest one, the Flame. So this is a, uh, you know, you can already see it's kind of wears a little bit, but um, a flame torched mm -hmm. finish. Yeah. So it, it's not going to hold up perfectly. The thing we'll say, every use. flame torch pen we sell that we've ever sold, the finish does kind of flake and wear off over time. So, and, or it'll fade or something like that. So that is kind of just the nature of the beast. So don't get too freaked out if that starts to happen and kind of know that getting into it. Um, but this is the most affordable flame torch pen that we've ever seen. So this, that's pretty cool. This one's a little... That one's a little stiffer on the... It is. Yeah. I mean, it's still satisfying, but it's it, it requires a bit more effort. It'll break in a little bit over time, but yeah, it's going to be a little stiffer than the others. And you got to... So this one, well, the this posting, one, the, the flame one really doesn't. It doesn't post, post at all. that great, and the other ones you got to really firmly post, and even then, 
I wouldn't say that like, if you are, yes, this pen has to post in all circumstances easily. I'd be like, eh, maybe this one isn't for you. Um, yeah, it, it will post. You just, you gotta, you gotta not be afraid to give it. That's not the selling point to me. Give it a little bit of But it's a effort. thin, it's a very thin pen. Mm -hmm. It's not super heavy pen, but it's got some no. weight to it. You know, so if you you're a fan. You can definitely write unposted. Yeah, if you're a fan of like some of the Waterman and Parker and cross pens, it kind of feels like, like some of those. We they got have some, some interesting fun colors. colors. These are the Lumi orange, uh, I want to say light blue and green. I'm going off memory here. And then you have, um, you know, a shiny black, matte black. Um, this is actually a little uh, cheaper. I'm not sure why in price, but stainless and uh, gold. And gold. And then you have the that. flame. There you go. And the flame, I think, is the same price as the other ones, right? It it's is. Not, it's right in there. It's not mm -hmm. some crazy premium. So that's pretty cool. So um, do you need to move it over there? You good? Okay, cool. Um, so that's kind of a rundown. The, the, that's so the, loud. Sorry. Yeah. Right. The Traveler's got the same nib as the Magnum does. So, um, so you a know. A little bit of spring. Yeah. So it's kind of like if you want to just get into it and test it out, the Magnum's a great pen to try that. The Traveler's a little more of a, you know. Grown up pen? Corporate pen, I, I guess. Well, and it has the um, rounded grip, whereas the Magnum has a triangular grip. Yeah. So for those of us who have a four finger grip and don't generally like triangular grips, mm -hmm. the round's a little bit better. Yeah. For and then. Us. And then to go up from there to the number six nib, larger larger pens, you go up to the Arrow or the Excellence. Um, and that's this kind of a rundown. Just, this there's, is just a sampling of Diplomat. There yeah, is much more, more to the line. There's more colors. There are, there are some models. other more models and stuff. We're kind of easing our way into it, starting off with kind of the strongest of what we feel we would be able to carry at the beginning. So we'd love to know your feedback in the comments. We would love to hear about any other pens that maybe you're interested in that we should kind of get into. Because, you know, we're looking to kind of expand the line over time. Working on some um, future colors for this guy, which are really exciting. Yeah. More to come in the fall. Yeah. So uh, that's Diplomat. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to check out more technical information and pricing and all that kind of stuff, uh, head over to gouletpens.com and where you can buy them and you can learn more about them uh, if you are not ready to buy them quite yet. Um, but anyway, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for being on, Rachel. It was a lot of fun. Yes. Have a great Monday. Yes. Right on.